just sitting here talking to Ernest and a great light code came. He always bring great light codes out of me, so I want to just hurry up and hit record so y'all don't miss this because this stuff ain't coming from my logic mind, so I won't remember it. But I was saying to him, with every single decision that you make, you create a new reality for yourself to experience. Let me give you an example. You could make a small decision to take your last dollar and buy a lottery ticket and win $10 million. If that happens to you, that one thought to buy that lottery ticket has now shifted your whole reality and turned it into a whole new reality for you to experience in life. With that in mind, how many decisions did you make today alone? And where are those decisions going to take you? What kind of behavior did you have today? And where is that behavior going to lead you? What kind of reality is that behavior going to create for you? We shift our timelines. We shift our dimensions. We shift the way we experience life with each decision Each word, every idle word, and every thought that has come from our mouth causes a shift in what we're experiencing in this lifetime. You have the ability to have a total different experience tomorrow than you had today with one thought or one behavior. That is why we are gods. That is why we are creators. That is why we are going through the ascension because humanity must finally evolve to the point where they understand and understand that we are accountable for everything that we create. There is no outside force creating these things for us and we're the victim of these outside sources. We create our own reality with each decision, thought, and word even the idle words even the things that don't come out of your mouth it creates some type of experience of what you consider to be your reality this means all day every day timelines are converging and shifting we're experiencing multiple dimensions at one time because we're in the age of Aquarius, because of the planetary alignment, because of the prophecies prophesied about the awakening of the people, it's happening. So monitor your thoughts, monitor your idle words, and monitor your behavior, and make sure that you are staying conscious and aware of what you are creating. And if you are creating something that you don't like, all you have to do is change your mind about it and would, and stick to it if you decide, you know what, I'm not going to do that anymore. Stick to it. If you have a tendency to blame other people when things happen and not be able to see that you played a part in it, and that's not serving you, when you let it go, commit yourself to not repeating that behavior again. But if you commit yourself to that and you make a mistake and do it again, that's okay too. You're not off track. You have to crawl before you walk. That is an opportunity for you to learn how to forgive yourself. So your mistake creates an opportunity for you to forgive yourself. That is a huge 
major deal to know that the bad things that we think about and do present opportunities for us to be loving, compassionate toward ourselves. Learn how to let go, let go of control, forgive ourselves, and do what? Get back up and try again. We teach our children that every day. Try again. Try again. Take one more step. Just, I know it's hard, but just come on. Hold, I'm going to hold your hands. Take one more step. Come on, pedal on the bike. I'm going to hold you up. I ain't going to let you go. They fall on what you tell them. Come on, let's try again. Well, I hurt my knee. Okay, we're we going to put a Band-Aid on it. Let's try again. We teach that to our children, yet we don't practice it ourselves. So, family, this is why we are experiencing the things that we are experiencing. Because we are being delivered from hypocrisy. So that we can be truly authentic. So that who our soul desire for us to be in this incarnation can finally fully reveal itself to the world. And until you realize these things no self-realization will happen which means you're not learning to know yourself anymore because you're not even willing to apply the principles resources and tools that you have in your arsenal so if you have blockages that are stopping you from going within the dark places in yourself and knowing yourself to know thyself is to know god this is the ultimate hell to be separated from your God essence. That is the definition of hell in the Bible. To be separated from God. So when we abandon ourselves. When we refuse to deal with things. When we refuse to acknowledge things. Be aware of them. And make the necessary changes. One step at a time. We are allowing ourselves to be in ignorance by choice, which causes separation between us and our own godhood. Family, if you are doing that, and I know all of us have, that means that the hell the Bible talked about, you are creating for yourself to exist within. Don't be discouraged by that statement because you know what the beauty of that is? If you have enough power, enough gumption to create moments like that, you have enough power and gumption to create moments for heaven to happen on earth. That is the beauty of that. 